Alright guys, welcome back. Today is the 15th of March and we are doing another Proto video. As you see, I have the Proto Bays right here. And today's Proto Bay is used. We will see how the condition is. As you can see, I've already opened the, ba uh, the bag. I've checked to make sure, I haven't unwrapped the bay yet, but I've checked to make sure that the bay is what the bay is. Uh, and just briefly looked over it. Like I said, I haven't opened the bubble wrapping for it. Um, all the parts look like they're supposed to be all the parts and with that being said so with today's proto video I'm only after today I'll be unboxing another one which will be the recolor rendition of Odax and then the recolor rendition of Horasud and then the attack variant I think it's the attack variant of Kerbeus um, will be the three I'll be waiting on they're all purchased um, Odax, I already have here. It was delivered yesterday. So I'm going to be making another video for that today and I will drop it today. So please go watch it. So yeah, like I was saying, so back in Proto, when they originally released, you had your Valtriac variant, right? That one doesn't count. That was from the, uh, but well, we'll put it here still because it's Valtriac V1, um, Wing Excel. But so when Proto released, you had your standard Valtriac format, and then you had the Valtriac combo format, which had the stamina driver with spread. Um, Takara Tomy did this as well. So we also had a Spryzen um, with spread and fusion, which is a stock variant. Well, it's stock combo. And then we had the combo variant for Cell, which is shield and um heavy and that was another one that takara tomi did but i think with shield and heavy um the spryzen was either blue i think it was blue if i remember right um it was either blue or green i think it was green actually so the spryzen was green whereas the valtriac was yellow the kerbeus for the attack variant was blue no the rock devore had the attack variant so the Rocktobor had the attack variant, which was blue, and the Kerbeus had the red variant, which was the um, balance type variant. So that was the Takara Tomy coloring scheme. But as you can see, following the pattern, our next bay, which lo and behold, let's get it out of the packaging right now, is the Rocktobor. I believe it is the attack variant is what it's supposed to be with center and excel if i remember right it's supposed to have center and excel it looks like it's got center i just can't between fusion and excel the tips get a little hard yeah this is excel so yes so we have excel definitely nice for it being used i picked this up for like eight bucks thinking that it was just you know just part of the collection it's gonna come in in like mid condition like mid condition but this is actually pretty much they unboxed it if you take a look there's no i can't see any damage to the layer at all even the sticker is pristine condition so it's like they unboxed it and then they just never used it um and then here's center it's a one star so very nice um the only difference between there's slight differences between each one so like the rock devore the original rock, rock devore had the has the black flames and the yellow design in the center whereas the attack variant has yellow flames and black uh, the black decal in the center so it's very it's a very different take on it um if you look at the takara tomi ones i wish i had a, a, a set honestly of them uh because then i would show you what i was talking about with the coloring rendition of them um, it is pretty cool to see how they did theirs. The fact that, you know, this Rock Devore would technically be a lighter blue than Valtriac. Um, definitely was pretty cool to see. I just missed out on the opportunity to pick all those up back when they were released. So with that being said, enough going on the rant. Like I said, this is the attack variant. Here's the regular stamina variant. So yeah, we have the set complete for the Protos. For the rock divorce so now let's go into a test spin and we'll be going through a battle phase for 
the protos. And when the proto bays are complete, we will do a battle royale. So hopefully I can make that video next week. Like I said, the uh, Horasud and the Kerbeus I am waiting on to ship. Uh, they've it's been paid. It just has not shipped yet. So when those two ship and they get delivered, I'll be able to make those videos and then we'll be caught up on the Proto series. So this is the attack variant of Rocktable. Three, two, one. Let it rip. All right, so yep, normal Excel pattern, just a little bit heavier. Now let's go through and do the stamina variant. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Well, the stock combo, basically. All right, yep, goes straight to the center. And it... so our first battle, you can guess it, is going to be. Actually, no, we'll save that for we'll save that for a little bit later. Um, let's go. The stamina variant of Valtriac versus the attack variant of Rocktivore. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. It's kind of funny to see Rocktivore making Valtriac patterns. Ooh, double burst. No points. Well, we will go into another round. Just to see if we can get a conclusive battle. Yeah, it definitely is nice how this came in. Like, excellent condition. All right, Valtriac versus Rock to Fork. Let it rip. <laughs> Rockivore R1.5, that's what we'll call it. And Valtriac moving on with a burst finish. Well, Valtriac scores a burst finish, it ain't moving on. Um, so yeah, we have a two point loss right there. Next up is the Defense variant of Spryzen with Heavy and Shield. Three, two, one. Let it rip. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I really love the design of these Proto Bays. I just, it was so simple and just awesome. And Spryzen with a burst finish, you guys. This, this uh, Rocktivore has got some really weak slopes. I'm just now noticing. All right, next up, let's do Yegdradon versus the attack Rocktivore. Let it rip. Let it rip. Yegjon with a survivor finish. Next up, Mad Minoboros. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Mad Minoboros with a burst finish. Yeah, this Rockivore is not doing so hot. It's got some weak slopes. Compared to our last competitors, the just does not. Nepstrius, the Rocktivore Nepstrius battle set, but one's the only difference is it's attack. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Attack versus balance. Hopefully, we can get some wins with the Rocktivore variant because uh, that'll be pretty sad if it just gets burst the whole entire way through. That'll be kind of sad. <laughs> It'll be one for the collection, but it'll just like be like useless at that point. Both bays hanging in there. Ooh, I think that's a draw. Okay, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. 
Nevstria is chasing Rocktivor while Rocktivor just sits in the center. Let's see what happens. Nevstrius with a very nicely done ring out finish. Um, let's go horsesuit. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Definitely trying to get a win there, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll hold on. Oh, horse dude with a first finish right at the end. Right at the end, you guys, with a burst finish. Next up, let's do let's do Valtriac V1 original versus the attack variant. 3 2 1, let it rip. Rock the board hitting Valtriac hard, you guys. Valtriac with a nicely done burst finish. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. So far, Rocktivore has not won a single match, you guys. This is going to probably be the weakest bay. Next up, let's do Doomsizer. 3, 2, 1. Let it rip. Let it rip. Both bays are evading each other. There is our first win, you guys. Rocktivore attack with a burst finish. Our first burst finish, you guys. That is sad. Um, so moving on, let's go. Wyvron. Uh, give me one second. We're actually gonna switch it up. We're gonna go Trident. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Yeah. Okay. Trident with a burst finish. This is uh this is some bad news bears business right here. Okay, so now we will do the Wyvern Rocktivore battle. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Both base hitting hard at the end. And, ooh, double elimination. Very nice. We have a double elimination, so it goes into a next round, so we can get a concise victory. All right, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Both bays trying, trying to get that center. And Wyvron with a stamina uh, survivor finish. Next up, let's go Unicrest. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Our boy Unicrest. The one that dominated pretty much all of uh, the proto bays besides one. And there we go, it dominates again. I swear, man, this bay, this bay is just as OP as uh, Doom Sizer was. All right, let's see, let's go Odex versus Rocktivore. Three, two, one, let it rip, let it rip. Good solid hits right out the start. Let's see what happens. And another double burst finish.
Okay, double burst finish. I mean, at least we're getting bursts, but we're not getting good bursts. Come on, there we go. Put the bays back together. All right, three, two, one, let it rip. Let it rip. Good hits right out the gate. Both bays kind of chasing each other. And Odax with a burst finish. Very nicely done on Odax's part. Very poorly done on Rock Divorce's part. We got one burst finish, you guys. One burst finish. One win out of several losses. Um, next up, we will do the gold variant of Excalius. Three, two, one. Let it rip. There was no contact, so that is a relaunch. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Excalius going crazy. Oh, and then it loses control and rings its. gets. Uh, thrown out of the stadium next up let's go the recolor of mad minaboros three two one Ooh, that's a missed launch three two one let it rip minaboros just going crazy right out the gate you guys trying to get that burst finish Rocktobor lost a lot of stamina. It is wavering. And burst finish by Minaboros. Very nicely done on Minaboros' part. That is a good display of what a burst finish should look like. Um, Now we are just going back through some bays, but different colors and different variants. So now we have the recolor of Doom Sizer, the blue and green variant. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. First contact and double elimination. Okay, so now let's launch again. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Rock Divorce circling the outside of the stadium while Doom Sizer is just kind of wavering back and forth. First contact. Another double burst. If we do not get him, this will be the last match for this setup. And if we don't get a win here, then it ends in a draw because we have a few more bays to move on to. I haven't even done Curbeus yet. All right, three, two, one. Let it rip. I think we'll do Curbeus after this one. Someone's got to pull out a win here. We are on round three. Who will it be? Will it be Doom Sizer? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that is some luck. Right as soon as I said Doom Sizer, he burst. Um, so we will do Kerbeus' stock combo versus the Rocktivore attack variant. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. And we have our third win. Rocktivore secures a ring out finish. Next up, we will do another Trident battle with Rocktivore. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Rocktivore going crazy around the stadium, you guys. Hitting hard. Uh, another burst finish by Trident. Trident is actually showing some improvement, too. 
I think they got tired of losing by Unicrest, and they were like, mm, let's uh, pull out some wins here. Speaking of Unicrest, let's do the green variant of Unicrest battle now. All right. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Unicrest with a ring out finish. This is a nice deflection on its part. So Rocktivore did ring itself out before it burst, so it is technically a ring out finish. Um, the recolor of Nepstrius. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Both bays chasing after each other. Nepstrius with a little bit more speed. And we have oh, dual, double burst finish. After this battle, we have three bays left, you guys. All right, three, two, one. Rogdivore almost got rung out right there, got hit hard by Nepstrius. Now it's evading Nepstrius like the plague. Very nice, very nice evasion tactic right there. Now it comes down to Rocktivore with a burst finish, you guys. That was very nicely done. Very nicely done, especially the fact that it got hit as hard as it did right out of the beginning. Very nice indeed. All right, so now let's reset Rocktivore here real quick. Next up we have the black variant of Excel Valtriac. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Put a little flare in that bunch. Ooh, ooh. Survivor finish for Rock Devour. Valtriac did stop moving. So it is a survivor finish on Rock Devour. So Rock Devour gained a survivor finish right there. Now we will move on to the actual combo for Spryzen, which is uh, fusion and spread. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And that did not work. All right. Surprised and acted like it, acting like a burst rock of war. Very funny. Let's surprise and spin there for a minute while I get rock of war put back together. All right. We will do a shoe launch. Three, two, one. Let it rip. The gate just sends Rocktivore into the pocket. Yeah, Rocktivore launched, got hit right here, and just went straight to the pocket. That's that good old uh, counter break right there. Not even the upper launch. That was counter the uh, counter strike launch or whatever it was. All right, our last battle is the OG Excalius versus the attack type Rocktivore. Three, two, one. Let it rip. That did not work over so well. All right. So let's try that again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Wow. Sorry, guys. My launch, my launch has just gotten bad. Three, two, one. Let it rip. I think that ended in a draw. I'm pretty sure that ended in a draw. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, let it rip. Good hit, Rocktivore, last match, came out swinging with the burst finish. Very nicely done. So overall, he did lose. Um, He did lose pretty bad, which is pretty sad. So with that being said, I mean, you guys, that's who all beat rock the attack type rock devour. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen losses, and only six wins. Uh, three of them being bursts. So that is some really bad odds. And rock devour wound up getting burst a lot too, as you guys saw. Um, like you said, this is I. I 
I, I love the proto base. I really do. I love the design of them. You guys, they're just so cool looking. They're very simplistic. And I like the fact that they were so compact back then. I mean, our bays went from... Our bay blades went from being this small with burst, you guys, to that in size comparison. So I liked the fact back then that these were really you know, just so compact and the faddles were fun. Like you had, you were you did get bursts. So uh, compared to the newer stuff where it's just like, you don't get the bursts anymore. So hopefully with Beyblade X, um, they've kind of improved. I'm, I'm willing to bet they've improved on the burst gimmick due to the fact that they are supposed to burst. So they probably figured out the gimmick and making it work again. Um, but yeah, this will conclude my video on Roctovore um r1 attack type variant so i hope you guys liked the video we are right at 26 minutes and as always thank you for the likes the comments um please subscribe and with that being said three two one let it rip have a great day you guys